And today I will show you guys how to use the native screen recording capabilities on uh, Android 4.4 KitKat. Now, to continue on, what we will do is first download the Android SDK manager. So let's go there. After you have searched the Android SDK, you will find this the first link being developer.android.com slash sdk slash index.html so you click the download the sdk you know agree and click the 64 bit and uh, once you're done what you have to do is uh, open that file that you get and the file that you get I believe is the ADT it's something called ADT bundle and once you get it it looks like this right you get this file you get an ADT in your downloads so after you get this what you have to do preferably is uh, to download WinRAR and uh, or you can just you know get the regular folder here so after you could just you know you could extract it you know regularly so what you can do is after you get the file folder what you have to do is after you extract it using any program you have to click it and <clears throat> well that's not the wrong one because I have copied it but what, what you have to do is go to development uh, the folder in this case I put in here I put it in a separate folder for development you get that you will get an Eclipse SDK and SDK manager so to get the SDK manager you double click here so click run and it will run so that is how you get it. continuing on with what you have to download in the SDK manager what you need to do is go and download after you have clicked it you know after you have clicked here there's an SDK manager here you double click you'll get this and after doing that what you have to download is the Android SDK build tools and SDK platform tools after you install the packages and wait until it finishes installing what you have to do is to go back into your SDK folder go under platform tools and you'll be in this folder with the ADB and you need the ADB commands in a future video I'll teach you guys how to easily get these commands without having to do what I'll show you right now which is to shift and right click and you have to open the command window here to be able to uh, execute the ADB commands so um in the future video I'll show you guys how to do it with your regular com command um, you know executable file without having to uh, go to the specific folder every time and doing the same thing every time you can just do it from your regular command prompt so to record on your Android device what you need to do is you need to connect your device which I will be doing right now so I'll get my cable here and I'll be showing you in a bit once you have opened the CMD what you need to do is uh, yeah okay what you need to do to initiate and make sure that your devices are listed is put ADV devices and as you can see, the list of devices attached is right there, and it says uh, my device. So after this, what you need to do, you need to put ADB shell, and this will all be in the description below for you guys. PM. Wait, let me get it. Let me get it. 
I have it. Hello guys, I have found a solution and uh, uh, I have the exact code. I was a little hesitant and I didn't remember. So I will link this description, um, this uh, um, thing showing you the code. So the code's down here. It's an ADB shell screen record. And it's the designated folder in which you want to download, plus the blah blah, blah dot mp4, whatever file you want to name here. So I'll copy that. And your device will say allowed, you, first of all, you have to remember, allow USB debugging on your device. And yeah, that's pretty simple. You just go into your device settings. After you've done that, go into your command prompt adb um number shell screen record and uh let me put it together screen record and then space slash sd card and then slash i'll put e hello youtube YouTube and dot mp4 and as you can see your mouse drops down a little bit and it doesn't give you a response and that means it's recording so in the video I'll be showing you the um, tests that I've done and the recordings that I've done using this software I'll see you guys then. To retrieve the files that you have recorded, you need to go into your portable device, in this case my Nexus 7, go into internal storage, and as it loads up, you will see soon find these videos pop up, and I will show you um, all of them. So, as you can see here, we have I have a, a test where I actually put in MC4 gameplay and that game is a very high resolution game so I, I put in that game and I played it and this is what happens this is the resolution and the smooth frame rate and I'll play it and uh, I guess it's playing So let's see it. So it's loading. Let me load this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click open, see if it'll open it. I don't know why it's not working, but nonetheless we'll continue. What I have done is I have moved a file earlier, one of the files that I recorded on this device using this. It's right here, it's called the MC4. As you can see, it is very pretty decent quality I'll say 480p ish and uh, it's not too bad but you know as an entry level developer option it's not a really bad thing to do so let's get into the gameplay as you can see it's hey guys I will continue on showing you the rest of the footage in the, the video I'll link and I will show in the actual YouTube video all of the videos I have recorded. So I'll see, I guess I'll, that's it for the video. And enjoy what I have produced with this amazing software. See you guys later.